if we select shifted function key F4, which would be F9, we get the tracking screen. This screen shows us a graphic over here which responds to another push button over here. When we press this button, the graphic over here changes from manual to auto. The fan and adjustments buttons are just screen change buttons with bitmaps sitting on top of them to make things more clear for the user. Let's see how all of this works together. Let's see, we're on screen 13. So in our project, let's scroll down to screen 13, which is our tracking screen. This is just a normal indicator button that's using the auto man tag for both the push button action and the indicator light. The trick here is the text that's used on the button is right justified. That leaves room to place a dynamic bitmap over here that can also track the auto man tag. So when we press the button, both the button and the dynamic bitmap change so it looks like one button action working. This is a handy technique to use, especially since there isn't a graphic button where we can specify our own bitmap. The exact same concept is used here on the screen change buttons. These are just dynamic bitmaps sitting on top of screen change buttons. The tracking function is just a simple bar graph with all of the graphics turned off except for the divisions. We have two major and two minor divisions. We're using a solid fill and a horizontal graph which is limited from 0 to 100. It's monitoring the speed tag. On top of that, we're using an indicator light that displays the manual and the auto text, but that indicator light is just tracking that auto man tag that we modified with the push button. Down here, we just have some static text. And notice on this screen, there isn't room for the home button. That doesn't matter. We can still create a screen change button using function key F1. They'll take us back to screen 2, which is our shifted version of the main page. So what happens is the user won't see this button, but they'll know from the rest of the project that the F1 key will still take them to the home screen. This really points out the importance of being consistent in your panel designs. If the user is used to going home using the F1 key, then he'll simply know that that will work, even on screens like this where it isn't apparent. If we go back to the simulator, we can see the dynamic bitmaps both here and here tracking the push button action. And finally, just to be sure, let's hit F1, and sure enough, that takes us back to the home screen. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.